good morning. We've already heard of a few locations the city and state may be looking at, and we do know the state plans to speed up construction on a shelter in Little Village. Construction on winterized tents has stopped in Brighton Park, and those who filed a lawsuit and protested for weeks at 38th and California are now celebrating. So this is just one battle won. There are a lot more to be fought. After reviewing a nearly 800-page environmental report, Governor Pritzker and the Illinois EPA said limited soil samples taken at the site showed contamination levels, making it not suitable for the nearly 2,000 migrants the base camp would have served. Crews had done some work to clean up the site for the state-funded, city-operated base camp. There was no additional information that was provided that would have led us to believe that this particular report that has been validated to be safe by third parties, um, that, that somehow um, that that operation will be halted. The decision to scrap the plan appears to be adding more tension between Governor Pritzker's administration and Mayor Johnson. A spokesperson for the governor told the Tribune, quote, while the city might be comfortable placing asylum seekers on a site where toxins are present without a full understanding of whether it is safe, the state is not. Regardless, Mayor Johnson is not dwelling on the decision. Both the city and state are working to find new locations to house migrants still at police stations in O'Hare. The state vowed to speed up construction on a brick and mortar shelter in Little Village to house at least 200 migrants. And the city is also working with the Chicago Archdiocese to find housing for migrants. As early as next year, the now closed St. Bartholomew School in Portage Park could open as a shelter. I've said from the very beginning, especially as winter is approaching and weather is shifting, um, is to get people out of police stations. There has also been talk about building a migrant base camp at 115th and Halstead. That location would also need an environmental study done before that project could proceed. Now, as far as the money already spent, the state will pick up the cost of the construction at the Brighton Park location. And we do know the city was spending a little more than $90,000 a month to lease the land. We're live this morning. I'm Eric Rohn, WGN News.